Hello everybody and welcome to another FAQ type video. Now, yesterday, or rather in the early hours of this morning, I uh, uploaded the credits and thanks video and on the end of that, or in the description of that video rather, there was two links to a, somewhere where you can download my save games for the campaign pre and post invasion of the Middle East. Now some people seem to be uh, managing importing that into their game some people are having a few problems now I think this the main problem I think will be the actual location of where you have to put the save game in question because to load the save game in Medieval 2 Total War you have to place it into the right folder into the, uh, in the yeah into the right folder so for instance, let's take this dead space here. Just this is the save game that I want to import into the right into the right location so that I can play it uh, in my version of Med2. Now the first thing you need to realise is that on Windows Vista and Windows 7, the save game location on Medieval 2 Total War is actually located in a hidden file, which isn't ordinarily visible. So the first thing you have to do is make all hidden files visible and to do that you go to search folder options and when you go to view there should be something called if you look down hidden files and folders now ordinarily it will be clicked on don't show you just have to change it so that it does show show hidden files folders and drives click apply click OK that's your first step you need to make all folders files visible the second step is to put this into the right folder so where exactly is the right folder you go to your C drive so go to your computer go to your C drives <coughs> and we need to find the users file click on your user account and the hidden file that we are after is called app data as you can see it's slightly greyed out compared to the rest that's because it's a hidden file so that's why we have to show all hidden files so we go into app data go into local scroll down to you find the, fo uh, the folder called virtual store program files again Sega Medieval 2 and voila there is the save file location as you can see there's all my current save games for my version of uh, Medieval 2 and then all you have to do is if this was a save game that I've downloaded and I want to put it into my version of Med 2 just simply drag it into this folder close it down and when I load up Medieval 2 Total War and click on load campaign that save game should now be listed as available to load so you load it up and it should be fine so that's all there is to it two fairly simple steps make all folders visible including hidden files and then go to the right location and drag the save game from wherever you've downloaded it into the save game file and that should be hopefully solving a lot of people's problems uh, another thing, I don't know if there's going to be problems regarding compatibility uh, issues with different versions of Medieval 2. Obviously you can patch your version of Medieval to different versions. I downloaded my Medieval 2 um, and then, I mean downloaded, I installed my Medieval 2 and then installed Medieval Kingdoms and that's all I've done. So my version of Medieval 2 Total War is patched to whatever version Kingdoms is so um, that's what my version is, I don't know if yours has to be compatible with that in, in other words the same or if you can actually do it with a different version try it out but anyway that's hopefully going to solve a lot of people's problems if it doesn't keep posting the comments on this video as to what uh, trouble you're having importing the save game into your games uh, and I hope it does uh, solve your issues right see you next time goodbye for now